Hi friends, I'm here in my kitchen and I'm going to show you a little recipe and it's really simple. I did not have to go to the store to buy anything to be able to do this. And it's kind of making little cracker or cookie houses. And instead of gingerbread houses where people buy a kit or people make it from scratch at home, which can be really time consuming and a little tricky. This is an icing that's like glue and you can use any kind of cookie or cracker you have around the house and make little houses. So this is a picture of a house and it's the style is called an A-frame. And some folks think that it looks like a capital letter A, uppercase A. So that's why it's called an A-frame house. And we are going to first make a little bit of really simple icing and that's gonna be the glue. And it's gonna to hold together the sides of our A-frame. So we're gonna start with, very simple, some powdered confectioner's sugar. And that's why I'm wearing an apron because sometimes this gets a little messy, but that's okay. So I'm gonna put that in. And usually it's a cup of confectioner's sugar to one to two tablespoons of milk. And you can use any kind of milk that you have in your house. I, whoops, I need a fork. So I'm gonna to have to mix this together and get the lumps out. Um, I have soy milk at my house, so that's what I'm going to use. And I'm gonna put some in and stir it. And I will tell you that when we first start this, because we are using this like glue to hold the pieces together, we want it to be pretty thick. And then once the pieces of your little A-frame have dried and then it's firm, you can use the same icing for decorating but you'll wanna add a little more milk to make it a little bit softer and easier to spread. So I think actually this looks like it's pretty good. That is really thick and I'll show you why right now. So I have two different kinds of crackers that you could use, whatever happens to be around your house. I have these um, little tea crackers and I like these surprise with my tea. <laughs> it's a nice little snack. I also like saltine crackers and these are square. So I'm gonna have two different A-frame houses. One is going to be square and the other rectangles. So this looks good. All right. So we need some kind of spreader or knife. We are actually gonna put this on the bottom of the cookie cracker on one, and we're gonna put it on the bottom of the other. Stick them on the plate and then put some glue on the top. And when this dries, they will be really firm and you'll be able to decorate them. So I'm just gonna show you the same thing with the saltines and they are a little more fragile. So you just wanna be kind of gentle when you put some of the icing on one edge of the saltine and then some icing on the other. And if something cracks, don't worry about it because you're just gonna fill it in with icing anyway. So here they are. I'm gonna put the sides with the icing down on my plate, put the top edges together. It's almost kind of a triangle shape. And that is our a frame.
with a little icing on top. So the one thing that's a little challenging about this is that you can't decorate them right away. You have to wait. So I'm gonna put these aside. And when I did some the other day, I waited about an hour, hour and a half until they were firmly cemented together. And here they are on the plate. Um, they are, yeah, they are ready to decorate. But remember that I did say this frosting, this icing is really too thick for decorating. So I'm gonna take a little bit more of my soy milk and mix it in. And that softens it up right away. And again, I did not make a special trip to the store for any of these ingredients. I just used what I could find in my cupboard. This is good for your hands because with one hand you're holding your bowl and the other you're actually stirring and mixing. And this looks pretty good to me. So I'm gonna use my spreader again and I am going to drizzle some of this right over my house just like snow or an ice storm. There we go. That looks pretty fun. I had some little sort of birthday sprinkles left over. And so I'm just going to sprinkle those on. And I think that looks pretty fun and pretty fancy. And I'll do the other one later. Some other things you can use this icing for not just making houses. You could actually use these. I have a, to make some other yummy treats. I have some wheat crackers here, and these are a different shape. These are kind of round. So I am going to spread on my icing. I have some coconut, shredded coconut. I'm gonna put that on, sprinkles. And then this time of year, the snowy owls are around New England. And I have some craisins. And I am going to pretend that this is a snowy owl. And I am going to put one, two craisins right in that icing for my snowy owl's eyes. We also like pretzels in my house, so I have pretzel rods, and these are delicious dipped in icing. So I'm gonna just dip it in the bowl, give it a little twist around, let some of the excess drop off, and then I can put it on my tray and decide how I wanna decorate it. I think I may put some sprinkles on this one and coconut. Right. And there it is. So once these are dry, you can enjoy them. You could give them to a friend. You could make them with your family. Really easy. Again, lots of ingredients that you probably have in your house and something that's fun to do. So I hope you enjoy. <laughs> Bye.